I know. I assure you, we're all so distressed about it. Only last day at Dear Lady Jensen, everyone was saying how extraordinary that Windermere, of all men in London, should behave in such a way. <laughs> Does my husband? What does he have to do with this woman? Oh, what indeed, dear? That is the point. He goes to see her continually and stops for hours at a time, and while he is there, she is not at home to anyone. Not that she has very many lady friends, but a great many disreputable men call on her. My own brother, particularly. And that is what's so dreadful about Windermere. We looked upon him as being such a model husband. But I'm afraid, dear, there's no doubt about it. My dear nieces, you know the Seville girls, don't you? Oh, such nice girls, such Nice domestic creatures, but plain, terribly plain, but so good. They're always at the window doing this fancy work. They're, and he walks by, and they see him. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about it. And this terrible woman, or she has a house right across the street on Corazon Street. And they see him. It's such a respectable street, too, you know, dear. I don't know what we're coming to. And they tell me oh, that Windermere goes at three, four, <coughs> five times a week. They see him, but. And they don't say anything, they're not scandalous, you know, but they do talk. They do talk. And worse of it all, dear, that I have been told that this woman has gotten a great deal of money. In the last six months, she came and, and she had very little. And now, and now she has this charming house a major, and she drives her ponies through the park, all since she's known for dear Windermere. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, but it's quite true, dear. The whole of London knows it. And that is why I felt it was better to come and talk to you and advise you to take Windermere away at once mm -hmm. to Hamburg or to X, where he'll be very occupied, but where you can watch him all day long. Mm -hmm. I assure you, my dear, that on several occasions, uh, after I was first married, I had to pretend to be ill. Take this, ooh, this unpleasant mineral was just to get the wick out of town. He was so extremely susceptible. Though I am bound to say he never gave away any large sums of money. He was far too principled for that. Duchess, Duchess, it's impossible. We are only married two years, and our child is but six months old. I'm a pretty baby. How is the little darling? Is it a girl or a boy? I hope it's a, oh, it's a boy. I'm so sorry, boys are so wicked. <laughs> My boy is excessively immoral. <coughs> You wouldn't believe the hours that he comes home. He's graduated from Oxford six months ago, and, and I don't know what they teach them there. 
Are all men bad? Oh, all of them, dear. All of them, without any exception. They never grow any better. Men become old, but they never become good. <laughs> Windermere and I married for love. <coughs> yes, we begin that way. <laughs> it was only Berwick's brutal and incessant threats of suicide that made me accept him at all. And before the year was out, he was running after all kinds of petticoats, every color, every shape, every material. In fact, in fact, before the honeymoon was over, I caught him winking at my babe, a pretty respectable girl. But I dismissed her a month at once without a recommendation. Oh, no. I remember, I gave it to my sister. <laughs> Sir George is so short-sighted, I thought it wouldn't matter. But it did, though. Most unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And now, my dear child, I must go as we are dining out. And mind you, don't take this little aberration about Windermere to heart. Just take him abroad, and he'll come back to you all right. Come back to me? <laughs> yes, dear. These wicked women get our husbands away from us, but they come back slightly tarnished. Oh, and don't make scenes. Men hate them. very kind of you mm. to come and tell me all of this. But I can't believe that my husband is untrue to me. Pretty child. I was once like that. But now I know that all men are monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing to do dear, is to feed the wretches well. Good cook works wonders. <laughs> and that I know you have. <laughs>